Sometimes we don't want to watch a whole video, but just read the summary. And in this video, I show you how you only need one command line to create a transcript and also generate a summary of any YouTube video or local audio file. So let's get started. For this, we use the assembly AI command line interface that you can find on GitHub. It's open source and it's supported on all major platforms. So you can grab one of those installation commands, either homebrew on a Mac, then without homebrew for Mac and Linux or Windows. In my case, I'm on a Mac with homebrew. So let's head over to the terminal. And with homebrew, you say brew tap and then assembly AI slash assembly AI. I already did that. So after that, you can say brew install assembly AI and this will install the latest version. So in my case, it's already installed. So now we can start using it. After the installation, we have to configure it with an API token. So we can say assembly AI config. And now we grab an API token that we can get for free at assemblyai.com. There's also a link in the description below. And now here in your dashboard, you simply copy your token and then paste it here and now you hit enter and this will store the API token. So now we can start transcribing. So for this we can say assembly AI transcribe and then we could either use a YouTube link or in this case I have a local file stored in this folder. So now we hit enter and now this will first upload the file. And now it's starting the transcription. So as you can see, the processing time is usually 20% of the file's duration. So let's wait for the result. So now transcription is finished. And here we have our transcript and can now read through this. And as you can also see, we have the speaker labels A and B. So by default, speaker labels is turned on, but we can also turn it off by using a flag. I'll show you this in a moment. But first of all, I also want to show you that we could say assembly AI transcribe and then just use a YouTube link and this works as well. So here in this case, it's first downloading the video, then it's uploading it to the servers. And then again, it starts the transcription. And then again, after waiting a few moments, here we have the transcript. Now let's look at the different possible flags we can use because on top of the transcription, we can also turn on powerful AI models. For this, we can go to the documentation on GitHub and look at the possible flags. For example, we can say minus minus order chapters. This will generate a summary over time. We have auto highlights, content moderation, entity detection, and a lot more. So let's try this out. So let's say assembly AI transcribe, and then we can say, for example, minus minus auto highlights and minus minus entity detection and hit enter and then again let's wait for the result and then again here we have our transcript back but now in addition in the end here in the bottom we see the highlights that are detected and also the entity detection so it found some locations and organizations so this is pretty cool so for this again play around with different possible flags and see how the results look like and the last thing I want to show you is my personal favorite feature. We can also say assembly AI transcribe and then the video link and then minus minus summarization. This will automatically create a summarization for you. And for this, we can again have a look at the documentation. So here we have the summarization flag and then we also have minus minus summary type. So there are different possible types that we can use. For this, let's have a look at the docs. So we can use bullets. This is the default bullets verbose, which is a longer bullet, then we can just have a gist or a headline or a paragraph. So for this, for example, you could say minus minus summary type paragraph. In my case, I want the bullets as default. So let's just use this and hit enter. So here we get the transcript. And now in the end, we also have the summary in this case as bullet points. So it generated this summary. So if you don't want to watch the whole video, you can simply read through the summary and save a lot of time by just using this one command, which I think is super cool. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Again, you can get started for free with an API token with the link in the description and also subscribe to our channel for more machine learning and Python tutorials. And then I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.